Hi everyone, this is step one of our solution and the goal here is to make the cross on the top. Here I'm taking blue to be my top color and I'm going to make a cross on the top, fill in those edge pieces. So our ultimate goal is to have the puzzle look like this, where we've got the blue cross on top and that cross extends deeply. So it extends through the next layer as well to the middle layer. By that I mean that the edge piece that has the blue sticker here better also have the red sticker on the side matching that red center sticker and so on. This one better be blue on top and white on the side to match. So this cross has to extend deeply through the middle layer. Alright, so let's get to it. What we're going to do is we're going to scan around the puzzle, try to find an edge piece that has a blue sticker on it, and depending what the other color is, try to get it in its right spot. So maybe I'll start with this one since it's already up here. This is the blue-red one. Oh, it's in the right location, it's just not in the right orientation. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to move it out of there and then bring it back in when it's been flipped over. So what I can do is I can maybe bring it all the way downstairs so it's down here. Then I'll slide it over a little bit. Again, my top is over here. This is my top. I always try to keep my finger, my left hand on the top so I know where it is at all times. I would like this red sticker to match up with the red center. So if I turn it that way, now the red stickers are matched up. This blue one needs to go up top, so I'll rotate it, and now it's up top. So there's no you know, memorization at this stage required. It's just fiddle around with it, try to move the pieces so they end up in the right spot. Here's the white blue one. It needs to go right here in the spot where we need the blue sticker up top and the white one on the side. If I want to get that white sticker next to that white center, I can rotate this face down so that brings the white sticker to the side, slide it across so it's underneath the white center, and then rotate it up. What you'll notice I'm doing is I'm trying to do all my work in the bottom layer. I'm trying to keep my top layer, once I move pieces up there, I want to keep them untouched. So I try to do everything in the the bottom layer. I try to move things down there, then move them around, and then bring them up when I need them brought up. So what's the next color? Oh, here's one. Blue-orange. It needs to go right up here. So what I'll do is I'll send it off to the side. Now I'll match that orange one with that one. So now they're matched up. And then I'll send it up top. So, so far we've got three edge pieces placed. All the while while you're, while you're fiddling around in the bottom layer, make sure you don't mess up anything in the top. At this stage, you're probably in, you probably encountered a situation where you might have had to mess something up in the top. Just make sure if you do mess it up, you move it back quickly. And we'll, I'll try to demonstrate that on this next one here. So the last piece just happens to be sitting in the proper location. It's just not in the right orientation. So I need to flip it over, so I'll have to bring it down. So I bring it down to the bottom layer. Notice all the other three pieces haven't been touched yet. I'll move it over to the side because I want that yellow to match with the yellow in the center. Now here's where I have to be careful because I want to bring it up to match. The problem is I will disturb the piece I've already placed. So this is where we want to remember I've got a piece placed already. If I'm going to disturb it, I'll do it temporarily. So this is the piece I've got placed already. If I want to bring this one up to the side, I can bring it up to the side remembering that I've now disturbed that piece. So now these are matched up. I can bring that one into a proper location and now restore that red blue piece. So now they're all matched up. We've got that deep cross, that deep blue cross on the top. And so that's it for step one. I encourage you to mess the puzzle up at this stage and try it again. Mess it up again, try it again, and get some practice with placing those pieces. The goal, bring things up. Keep them in the top layer, try not to disturb them. If you have to disturb them, do it temporarily and then bring them back. Try to do all of your work in the bottom layer. All right, so now we'll move on to step two, which is putting the corners in that up layer into their proper locations.